On September 10th, scientists in Geneva, Switzerland fired up the biggest particle physics experiment in history. The Large Hadron Collider, built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research with thousands of physicists from hundreds of institutions worldwide, is a 27-kilometer accelerator ring buried 100 meters beneath the borders of Switzerland and France. The LHC will attempt to recreate the conditions of the early universe by smashing particles together at just a hair under the speed of light. Those collisions will create explosions of particles, which the scientists will track with four massive detectors placed around the ring. When I visited in July, CERN engineers were just finishing the assembly of the cathedral-sized Atlas detector and its French twin, CMS. Much the way artisans build ships in bottles, the giant machine had to be lowered into the cavern piece by piece and then assembled in place. The 12 kiloton, five-story detector took over 20 years to build and uses technologies that hadn't even been invented when it was first designed. The site is heavily secured and for good reason. The accelerator and its experiments cost a total of about $8 billion to build. Any damage to Atlas's hundreds of magnets, thousands of kilometers of wiring, and untold number of integrated circuits could halt the research for as long as six weeks. Getting in requires biometric verification at multiple points. Then I have to have my eyes scan. This far underground, with hundreds of superconducting magnets cooled to temperatures colder than outer space, safety is a top priority. Safety of people and the detector. What is this? This represents a person that uh, has uh, oxygen deficiency, and so it's kind of like. <laughs> Atlas is like a rat's nest of wires and cables, if the rat happened to have obsessive compulsive disorder. It's roughly 250,000 kilometers, it's seven times the circumference of the Earth. No, you heard that right. There's enough wiring packed into the Large Hadron Collider to go around the planet seven times. That's what it'll take to handle the massive amounts of power and data. In the detector, a collision will happen every 25 nanoseconds. The, the detector is capable of taking 40 million pictures per second. The, the, the amount of data that comes in, mm -hmm. not the amount that's stored or even looked at, but the amount of data passing through is equivalent to listening to 50 billion simultaneous phone calls. But it's also a matter of detecting the right particles. These detectors, which are supposed to detect the uh, muons that come from the center of the of Atlas, yeah. you don't want to detect other particles as the beam goes through, so this is why you have these shields in place. The chips are built to be even more radiation resistant than the stuff on the Mars rover. Uh, but the radiation hardness has been a big issue in the experiment. And uh, we started, typically, we started around 1985 to think about this, how to do that. How many uh, integrated circuits do you think are in this... Uh... I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> the point of the entire experiment is to understand what gives particles their mass, and maybe even to understand the origins of cosmological mysteries like dark matter. And what is uh, fantastic about this project is that it's a lifetime project. I've been uh, working on this all my life practically, all my career life. And um, I think uh, students are really fortunate, graduate students in physics are really fortunate. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Sally 80.